all know that third of world's population do not receive uh, health commodities that they need, you know, be it uh, drugs, be it diagnostics, vaccines, or contraceptives. And uh, we also know that uh, for the last two decades, uh, the healthcare companies, spe specifically in India and China, have had a large, uh, you know, especially from the emerging powers, they've had a large uh, impact on, uh, you know, providing access to required mes medicines, be it HIV, be it malaria, TB, and <coughs> others. And we do know that Indian companies are uh, supplying over 80% of the drugs which are used for HIV AIDS and 70% uh, of vaccines which are procured by UN agencies. And uh, what is uh, important is that uh, when we talk about uh, enhancing, uh, when we talk about access to medicine and shaping market dyna dynamics for access to sustainable and quality and low, low cost medicines, uh, what, what is important is uh, a complex, there's a complex value chain which stretches from discovery of a product, testing it, then uh, up getting it approved not only by uh, the stringent regulatory authorities in the, in the country, uh, uh, which are the development partners authorities, but also in-country regulations. And then looking at manufacturing, looking at getting past regulations, procurement, distribution, and delivery before it reaches the appropriate use. What I'm talking about now is the partnership which we have funded through Clinton Health Access Initiative, who couldn't be here today, so I'm presenting on their behalf. Uh, this is an innovative model of public-private partnership. It uses public funds. And I say public funds, why? Because this is basically uh, for, uh, for procurement of drugs by African governments or, uh, or through procurement agencies which are funded through development partners in Africa and other low-income countries. And the, the basically, this public fund is used to stimulate incentives for private sector companies to again invest more strongly in development area. Um, what is important here is that uh, if you look at India's companies, we have, uh, these companies are, who are part of, who have been our partners are not small companies. They are, some of them are big giants. India has almost 20,000 companies who are producing pharma, of which 20 odd are big giants. Then you have, you know, from 100 to 250, which can be called as medium, and rest all fall into the SME categories. And some of these SMEs are also uh, producing for these large companies who are then exporting outside. Now, how this initiative works? It works both on the supply and demand side, and uh, to be to be to be really effective on the supply side what are the levers basically uh, encourage companies to product to optimize their product design so that uh, so that the what they are producing is good quality but at low cost and then enhance competition so bring another a third a fourth part uh, you know fourth company in the player so that you are able to negotiate prices then reduce of course production of costs and risk and that's basically done through uh, through uh, you know demand side work, which I'll talk about, and then negotiating prices. On similarly on the demand side, uh, the biggest issues, of course, are creating demand for the product, and specifically new products that are coming. It is very, it is, it, it takes. We all know it takes more than two to three, even ten years in LICs for a new product to be uh, introduced. And it's important to that efficacious, more efficacious products are are introduced in these countries as soon as possible. Then to create demand, and on the demand side, another thing is consolidating it, then communicating this demand to the manufacturers so that they put an investment to start manufacturing it, and then strengthen systems in country to ensure that market is sustainable. Now how do demand side activities advance excess goals? As I mentioned earlier, create demand, consolidate demand, which create demand for the new product, supply entry and pricing, and then communicate demand, availability ensuring ongoing supply. And then sustainability is very important, mitigating supplier risk, thus, provide, thus uh, you know, ensuring that the supplier doesn't uh, exit from this. And uh, 
to make, make markets uh, more efficient both on the supply and demand side on the supply side you engage with the manufacturers to improve as i said to improve product development negotiate affordable prices and support quality accreditation of the products both uh, by development partners or the country for example us has has their fda and then uh, by in country uh, re registering authorities also on the demand side you help countries to improve systems for procurement also demand forecasting which is really very important because that helps you put production in place and also introduction of new drugs what has been the result of this uh, investment we have uh, uh, we are at the moment in the second phase of our uh, support to clinton health access initiative in the first uh, phase we found that a small uh, investment of around pound 11.4 million it generated almost reductions of 50% on both first and second line therapies for hiv um in fact it is for the indian i'm mean, not deficit support alone but it's because of the india's pharma industry that now almost 7 to 8 million people are on hiv therapies which they would have not received otherwise and um, this has saved african governments over 500 million pounds and allowed an additional 500,000 people to be given aids uh, treatment for over 3 years and encouraged by this we have now also encouraged uh, chai to get into other areas so they are looking at uh, both health commodities uh, including drugs mostly in africa and today the two ambassadors talked about uh, diagnostics i would like to say that some of this work is also includes uh, point of care diagnostics so which means for say tb for malaria and for hiv also they are looking at a po efficacious point of care which can be taken to the community and they can be tested there so fine. thanks avina um <laughs> any questions okay so sabina is also joining us for lunch and so please feel free to catch up with her then um and i'm glad sabina that you brought up the point of diagnostics because there are a few innovations we will be showcasing today that uh, deal with that and i'll uh, call up the first of those now um